we're back and I have standing with me, this woman right here was the featured author at this event. And this is Kendra Norman Bellamy. Yes. Okay, now she's gonna tell you, how, how did you become the featured author today? Um, well, actually Sheila and I go way back. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've known her for quite some time and we've worked together and been together on different forums and things of that nature. I was a part of the conference on last year oh, when wow. she launched it and she reached out to me this year and asked me if I would be her keynote speaker for this year and be the featured author. So it was a blessing to be asked and so I'm just honored to be oh, here. Wow. Well, how long have you been writing? I have been writing since 2002. Uh, professionally since 2002. Okay. I self-published my first book okay. in 2002, but um, I did not become nationally published until 2004. Okay. And so, and my 20th book is on the horizon, wow. and that one will be releasing prayerfully this fall. Wow. And so I'm looking forward to it. It's sort of a milestone for me, right, 20 books, right. yes. Yeah, 20 books yes. in, what, 10 years? Yeah, to a little bit over 10 years, yes. Wow, 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 wow. Where did you build your inspiration? How did you get started? I mean, was it just a... I'm gonna write, or what, did you kind of procrastinate a little bit? Or? No, actually, writing found me. If that's, I can't find a better way really to put it. I started writing. A lot of people find their purpose, you know, different ways. I found mine out of pain. My husband had passed away, and I did not really face the grief of that. And so I went some years, four or five years, just kind of holding that grief inside of me. And I sat down one day and decided I was going to write what I thought was going to be a journal entry. And it ended up lasting for 30 days. And it was 150 pages wow. when I was done. So basically, I had a manuscript at that point. And it was at that point that really a floodgate of stories started opening in my head. And they weren't my stories, but writing made me feel good. And so I started writing those with the hopes of one day somebody else feeling good from that writing and that's really how it got kicked off i never aspired to be an author but god knew from the beginning and so here i stand exactly because yes. you know he is the author oh yes he is the author yes. so it's like we get it from my daddy you that's know, correct that's that's so right. and it's like i can it's like it's kind of almost kind of hard to explain but you know your purpose was already set forth yes. before you came here absolutely he knew you were going to walk absolutely this walk he knew right. everything that you were going to experience and mm -hmm. through your experience you're going to be able to tell others. Right. So if somebody wanted to get into writing or wanted to write, what would you tell them? I would tell them, first of all, to make sure that this is something that they really want to do. Writing is not the profession to jump into with the expectations of getting rich quick or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So they would have to know that this is a passion for them, mm -hmm. something that they're willing to put some time and some effort toward, something that they're willing to educate themselves on as far as the craft is concerned, yes. and then jump in and, and just do it. You know, And there, there will be days when they feel like writing, days they don't feel like writing. But <laughs> absolutely, that can happen. Yeah. But if they keep at it, they will succeed okay now if somebody wanted to just say well I don't know the first thing about writing mm -hmm. and I'm looking for a mentor mm -hmm. would you um, actually be a mentor for them? I have mentored several writers. Some of them are even here oh, at the wow. conference and it's a blessing to see that they've actually blossomed and spread their wings and now they have products there to show for the work that they've put in and for really the work that I've put in as well. And so I've mentored several writers over the years and it's good to have mentors. I think it is good yes, to have somebody yes, yes. who will be there to push you toward you know that goal when you don't feel like pressing forward on your own accord. Yes. It's been, I, I, I totally agree because there's been so many days where you just like, yes. I'm not getting out of the bed today. It happens to the best of us. It does. <laughs> just not facing yes. it. How can we get in contact with you and where can we get your book? Uh, my books are available in most major bookstores. These are, uh, this is my uh, latest fictional novel. Okay. This is my nonfiction. So I write fiction and nonfiction, but my books can be found, of course, on my website. They can go to royaltywriter.net or they can go to kendranormanbellamy.com and they can see my books there. They can be purchased from Amazon, uh, downloaded with ebooks. Um, so they're pretty accessible if okay. they look for them, yes. Are you socially connected? I am, I am on Facebook, I am on Twitter, uh, and I am pretty active, especially on the Facebook front. So I'm there, so people can people can look me up there. I only have a few slots left for friends oh. on Facebook, because I've just about uh, met my max on there, but yes, I am Yeah, there. I've done yes. that like maybe three or four times, Just, but now pretty much everybody's almost authors, just different yes. people in that yes. aspect. Well, um, it was such a pleasure talking with you today. You. I, I um, thank you. I just wish you much success. Thank you. Years to come. That. So, um, like I said, um, 
keep doing what you're doing, giving back to those yes. and just mentoring and just watch your work, which you've planted into them blossom, like yes. you said. Yes. You guys, we have it right here with Miss Kendra. She was the featured author today. You guys, Google her. That way you can find her everywhere, every social network. Yes. Goodreads. Are you on Goodreads? I am. Okay. You can find her on Goodreads. Wherever a book is sold, she's probably there. So just check her out. And I thank you so very much for tuning in to Black Butterfly Media. I'm your host, Ornitha Danielle.